Another pop chart massive superstar DJ walks into the room, Mr. Darude. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Nice to be here. Yeah, so this is how many times do you do you, have you been to the conference before? Is this your first time or? Oh, I've been here several times before. I don't. I think this might be fifth, sixth, something time. And do you come to to socialize, to mix? Are you here to play? Uh, I'm not here to play this year. I basically come to uh, just bump into people, and uh, I have a bunch of meetings uh, scheduled. I'm basically pushing my uh, up and coming stuff, and um, also my record company stuff. Okay, so tell us a little bit about those. Let's go. Let's do the record company first. Sure. Uh, tell us about that. Well, uh, my record company's name is Enmas Music, and uh, I just started it. Uh, well, the beginning of this year with a buddy of mine from US. Uh, DJ producer called Randy Boyer mm -hmm. and um, we are we, we want to produce and release stuff that is something that we play in our DJ sets uh, clubby but but kind of like commercial edge to it we don't mind vocals we don't mind hooky melodies and if one of our tracks were to uh, hit you know you know break through commercially we wouldn't mind too much that either <laughs> so uh, but uh, that's a fresh project and we're slowly but surely building a name and have gotten our uh, tracks played by the big DJs and stuff like that. Being really happy at this point. So any, any releases to speak of so far from the label? Uh, well, the fifth release called uh, Welcome to the Future by Christina Sky and Randy Boy, my partner, and a guy called Shy Boy from an uh, uh, American rock band called Hypnogaja. I know that's a mouthful. <laughs> the track name is like this long, but uh, that is the next one that is up. That's what I'm pushing here, basically. Um, it's going to be released on the 15th of November, so pretty soon. It's already kind of like in the distribution pipe. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your DJing schedule. I mean, how's that been since the early days from Sandstorm, and you know, mm -hmm. what 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 happened after that after that release? How did it propel you? Yeah, I, I guess, I mean, it's silly to say myself, but yeah, Propel, it did quite quite nicely. In the beginning, I wasn't actually a DJ. I, I made live, I did live shows and um, I had, you know, synthesizers and gadgets, uh, live visuals and stuff like that. As sometimes live singers, live performers, guitar players and percussionists and so on. And uh, around 2003, 2004 turn, I started DJing, uh, which was very fresh and new to me and I kind of just along the way realized that I know how to DJ as well <laughs> and just kind of learned that uh, on the side because it I mean DJing is difficult but it compared to preparing and playing a live show it requires very similar musical things you know rhythm and all kinds of stuff um, so it was a natural progression and there was a lot of uh, clubs that actually didn't take live performers because of they didn't have space, you know, stages and stuff. And also, with the live performance, I had a lot more people with me than just myself and maybe like a tour manager. So it's also a financial issue. And around that time, the DJ became the rock star anyway. So, so uh, that became the norm. And uh, I love both. Um, uh, right now, I'm doing about. I've been doing 30 to 60 DJ dates a, a year. A couple of live things here and there for special occasions and. Uh, um, I've got a radio show called Salmiki Sessions on etn.fm, but also syndicated on dozens of lab, uh, stations around the world. And my um, next thing that is coming out from me is called Salmiki Sessions Volume 1, which is a DJ mix compilation, which also I'm pushing here. Okay, and that's, uh, will there be productions of your own on Soundmaker, Soundmaker uh, Sessions Volume 1? Uh, yes, it's actually, there's no original Darut productions, but uh, about 10 remixes of productions of my other productions of mine, and uh, I think eight uh, other productions by my Finnish colleagues, so it's kind of Finn-themed uh, disc, and uh, I don't have a release date right now, but it is going to be out in the next two months or so. So let's just plug that one more time, the album's called... Uh, Salmiki Sessions, Volume One. It's my, Sorry. yeah, yeah. It's um, my DJ mix compilation, and it's kind of a recap of what I've done since my latest album, Label This, in 2008, and now, and I'm working on new artist album as well. Okay, you heard it here first. Salmiki Sessions, Volume One, Darude.